Hello from Cincinnati, DF crew, exclamation point. Yes, uh, your neck of the woods from back in the day, yes, right, John? Hometown, baby. Uh, my question, from nasty natty. <laughs> my question is for everyone, but especially John. What is it that makes per pixel motion blur look so good, but sample and hold persistence blur look so bad? When I strain my eyes staring for the diff uh, for the difference, they end up looking rather similar. Perhaps it's just that games which ought not to have motion blur, 2D scrollers suffer from persistence blur i think there's more to it thoughts uh, interesting mm. one right but we kind of like more fans of per object motion blur uh right as opposed yeah to which is per pixel motion blur of course but uh the main difference comes down to the way velocity and momentum is translated into a visual flourish uh right. i think if you actually go back to something like tekken 6 or tag 2 i was looking at those recently the motion blur in action looks awesome in those games. The way the fighters move, it's very exaggerated. If you pause a frame, though, you'll see that the amount of blurring actually happening is significant. It's such that if the LCD persistence blur looked anything like that, it would basically be impossible to see. And it's because it's a very short time frame where this really fast motion uh, uses this super high uh, type of motion blur with with this shutter speed designed to make it look that way. So it exaggerates the motion. So normally during slow movements, you won't actually see that much motion blur when it's done well, but when any sort of like big animation or huge change happens, the motion blur sort of fills in the gaps between the frames and creates this like fluid look to it. That is, actually resembles what you get with like a film, or well, with a camera. That's basically. the whole point, right? <laughs> right, it's a simulated camera. Right, yes. that's what it does. Which is uh, which isn't the persistence from sample and hold. Which no, is sample and hold style blur is across the board. It doesn't really get. It doesn't really become more exaggerated. Like obviously, the faster you move, the blurrier it gets, but not in the same way, right? And it's it just kind of it just kind of obscures details in right. motion in a yeah. way that's and it's across the entire image all the time rather than specific objects like if the background's rotating a little bit in versus the the fast motion of like a fighter punching the 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 ex also as you mentioned rich you can apply per per pixel motion blur sometimes you've seen games that sort of apply it more to specific objects like the original crisis actually mm -hmm. i was like that so yeah, there's many different ways to do it, but I think that's fundamentally what it is, is when you take into account the momentum and velocity and the way that looks and what it allows you to do. But I'm actually curious to hear Oliver's take as well. Yeah, I think I think one big problem with like LCDs and sample and hold blur relative to like uh, per pixel motion blur techniques is that you get persistence of that blur across multiple frames. Whereas with uh, per pixel blur, it really should just be between those two frames. So you end up with kind of like long trails of ghosted motion. And you're seeing that because of the, the display characteristics. It's not like a computed thing between two frames that should look very consistent. And even like a film camera would produce it. So I think that's like, to me, that's a big problem where it just ends up looking really smeary because it's actually smearing the movement yeah. from multiple frames. Yeah. And you're seeing that persistence for longer, much longer than you would in a, in a, in a game with per pixel motion blur. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That all makes sense. I mean, it's not. It, this is an artifact of the display technology, not an attempt to emulate the <laughs> the the behaviors of a camera. <laughs> it's two very different things there. Yeah.